we'll guide you through how to fix your keyboard not working in Windows 11. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Firstly, what we need to do is go and enable the on-screen keyboard just so we can use our computer to go and fix the problem. So all you need to do is go and click on the Windows Start button at the bottom here and then go and tap on Settings. Then in your settings, head over to the left and you need to go and click on Accessibility and then scroll down until you see on-screen keyboard and as you can see, we can go and toggle it on by switching it on here and there we go, we've now got a keyboard then what we can do is go and close off our settings here. For the first fix, we need to go and get to our device manager. So go and click on the search at the bottom here. And then what we can do is type in device manager, just like so, and open it up. Locate keyboards in this list and then click on the arrow on the left to expand it. And then we've got these different keyboard devices. And what you want to do is right click on them and you want to go and uninstall them. So tap on uninstall device and then press uninstall again. They will then uninstall it and we want to do that for all of them. So now that's gone and disappeared from a list here and we want to go to the top and go and press on action and then click on scan for hardware and it's then going to scan and it should then go and reinstall them essentially. If they don't reappear, just go and restart your computer by pressing on the Windows start button and then you can go and restart it and that should then regenerate them and then go and see if your keyboard now works as essentially you've gone and reinstalled the keyboard sort of device drivers. If that didn't work for you though, then let's go and close off the device manager and what we want to do is open up command prompt. So come to the bottom and go and click on search, type in CMD just like so and then right click on command prompt here and click on run as administrator just like this. You go and get a Windows security pop up which you need to click on yes and then what you want to do is type in SFC just like this then put a space and type in slash scan now. So S C A N N O W just like so and then go and hit enter and then what it's going to do is going to go and start scanning your system for any sort of um, corrupt files and things like that. So just wait for it to do this. It may take a bit of time, but it's going to go and, you know, go through your system and do repairs and things like that. And this will hopefully go and fix your problem. If it helped you, then please leave a like.